Welcome to the world of Cybot, where automation becomes simplified and powerful. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through everything you need to know about Cybot, the ultimate bot for generating real streams across multiple platforms. What is Cybot? Unlike traditional bots that fake streams through API methods, generating millions of streams in a second, Cybot takes a different approach. Cybot works in real time, playing your music based on the length of each track. For example, a playlist with 501 minute songs would take approximately 8.3 hours to generate 500 streams. Now imagine having 100 listeners, that's 50,000 real, undetected streams within just 8 hours. Cybot requires proxies or VPN, real user accounts, and automates login, playback, and provides security with multiple options for user control. Let's dive into the first set of windows, start automation, and manage user instances. Both buttons work similarly, popping up a window with powerful functions. Option 1. The top menu bar shows the platform automap feature, allowing you to map all available accounts to your desired platform. For example, selecting Spotify will map all accounts to stream on Spotify. Option 2. Next, you have the Clear Proxies button to run instances without proxies or use a VPN. Option 3. Need to restore your proxies quickly. Use the Automap Proxies button, which divides available proxies among user accounts. If you have 10 accounts and 5 proxies, they'll be shared accordingly. Option 4. You can filter accounts by platform to easily see which users are mapped to services like Spotify or SoundCloud. In the second menu, you'll find available browser platforms like Chrome, Chromium, Brave, Edge, and Thorium, making it possible to automate across different browsers. The third menu has a search bar to find specific accounts or proxies. Lastly, there is the proxy check feature. When the proxy is alive, the button remains green. If a proxy is dead, it turns red, helping you troubleshoot quickly. Here in the middle area, you can control your listener accounts. Accounts that have been inserted in the credentials window will appear in the Manage User Instances window, ready for automation. Be sure to input the correct email and password for smooth automation. An email is separated by the cologne symbol followed by the password. Each can be mapped to available platforms like Spotify or Deezer or SoundCloud based on preference. In the area where you control your accounts, you'll find individual controls like Run, Check Proxy, and Clear, allowing you to manage specific accounts efficiently. The Run button will execute the instance individually based on the selected browser platform. The Clear button will clear the proxy for the selected user. After clearing the proxy, you can set a temporary proxy if needed. The bot has a cookie storage mechanism, which helps it run efficiently and avoid detection. At the end of each account row, there is a delete button that removes cookies or stored user data for the selected user. Use this button if you wish to reset user data. Otherwise, avoid it to keep the current data intact. At the bottom, you have more advanced controls, such as setting time intervals, minimizing browser instances to save CPU, and even running all accounts at once. The time interval checkbox controls the timing for when each instance should be opened. When checked, and you set the interval to 10 seconds, minutes, or hours, the bot will open each instance according to the specified time. Additionally, there is the Minimize Browser checkbox, which will minimize the browser window after each time interval. This can help reduce CPU usage, especially for users with less powerful machines. We also have the Run All Instances button, 
which will launch all available instances. You can use the time interval setting to open them gradually, or you can run all instances simultaneously. Keep in mind that running all instances at once requires a strong GPU, CPU, and sufficient RAM as the program demands significant resources to run smoothly. The more powerful the computer, the more accounts you can manage, as the bot has no account limits. Be careful when using the Delete All Profiles button, as this will remove all profile data. You can also skip the time interval to open instances faster. or mute all browsers to save resources. You can minimize or maximize the browsers, but use caution, as this action will minimize everything on the desktop and restore or maximize all windows. This feature can be handy for saving CPU and RAM usage. Once more, now let's move on to the credentials window. The search bar here helps you find specific accounts quickly. This is where you input user accounts separated by a colon for username and password, like this, cyybot mary at gmail.com colon 3300333. The cyybot mary at gmail.com is the email separate by the colon, and the 3300333 is the password. You can add these line by line to tell the bot that each line is a different user. In the credentials window, this is where you add your proxies as well. Each proxy can be separated by line. Add the number of proxies based on the number of accounts. Ensure all your proxies are working by using the Check Proxy tool in the Cybot. Save and Close will save the credentials and close the window as. Save and Refresh will save the credentials and refresh the data. Each platform has its own redirect URL text box where you'll paste your playlist URL. This is what your user accounts will stream. You can save or remove all URLs with the buttons provided. Caution! Each platform you assign to a user will respond to the URL set in the Set Redirect URLs window. Ensure that you have assigned the correct playlist URL to the appropriate platform. For example, you cannot use a SoundCloud URL in the Spotify URL text box. Some may refer to it as a URL, others as a link, so make sure to map these playlist links correctly. Let's talk about the extension window. Here's where you can activate or deactivate browser extensions. You can also add custom extensions by accessing the folder through the Open Folder button. Install your extensions by extracting the files and placing them in the designated folder. Finally, we have the Proxy Checker window, equipped with tools to check and manage proxies. You can load proxies from a file, edit them, or easily delete non-working proxies. Each proxy line has a check button that allows you to test proxies individually. After checking, the tool will dynamically separate working proxies from non-working ones using artificial intelligence. You then have the option to delete non-working proxies by clicking the Delete Non-Working Proxies button leaving only the functional proxies available for use. This feature is particularly useful for efficient proxy management. Cybot offers for pricing plans to fit different user needs. First, there's the test plan for $100 a month. It includes unlimited accounts, access to three platforms, monthly updates, and 24-7 support, making it great for short-term use or for those who want to test out the bot. Next is the startup plan for $300, which gives you three months of access to the same features and limited accounts, three platforms, monthly updates, and 24-7 support. It's perfect for users looking for a mid-term solution. For more serious users, the professional plan costs $1,000 and lasts 10 months. It includes access to five platforms, unlimited accounts, and 24-7 support. It also comes with an account creator although it's not the premium version. This plan is ideal for those who need extended usage with more features. Finally, there's the ultimate plan for $5,000, offering lifetime access. It supports all platforms and comes with unlimited accounts, premium account creator, and no serial requirements, 
making it the most comprehensive and flexible option for long-term users. All plans come with efficient customer support, and since Cybot is serial-based, managing it is secure and straightforward. To purchase the bot, visit cyybot.com. That wraps up this tutorial on Cybot. With its powerful automation features, you'll be able to generate real, valid streams across multiple platforms, keeping you undetected and successful.